What's going on guys? So this is just going to be a short little video that uh, should hopefully be interesting. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to show off all of the pets. So yeah, Revival is kind of like Petscape, you know, that, that, that really should be our server name. I don't really pay attention to other servers, but you know, I'm sure we're, we're one, of the, one, of the, one of the top 10 servers with the most pets. Uh, let's get into that. It's at least the most custom ones, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, but I definitely, uh, <laughs> I definitely want to at least make 151 total. Like, if at least if we can get to that number, I'll be stoked. Alright, so to my knowledge, we have 50 here. Hopefully I'm not forgetting any. Uh, comment in the... <laughs> comment below if, you, if, if I'm missing one. I'm sure you guys will. So let's get started. So let's just get a bunch out. We'll take a look at them. So these right here, these are all of the Slayer pets. So we have the uh, Cerberus pet. So the the, op the options on some of them are kind of annoying. So I, I apologize if that's ever confused you. Eventually I'll uh, get into that. Here is Noon, the grotesque guardian, the gargoyle pet, Kraken, Kraken pet, and these again aren't custom except for this next one coming up, Smoke Devil. And then this is kind of where I, I put my little spin on it. I never really liked the Abyssal Orphan. I thought just a demon itself would be cool. Wouldn't you? I, I, I don't know. Abyssal demons were always like one of the coolest monsters back in the day. That was like the coolest monster. Everybody wanted a whip. Everybody wanted to be able to kill abyssal demons. And the pet man, come on, it had to be one. So I changed the uh, the abyssal sire pet to this on Dark Asylum, and I kept it for here. All right, so here we have the wilderness pets. Now I know what you're thinking. Uh, what about these ones? Yeah, KBD is not technically in the wilderness, but you do go through the wilderness to get to it, and you do with the pet core. Or the, well, the Corporal Beast. So those two are going to be in this list. Chaos Elemental. It's the first one. That's the classic wilderness boss right there. We got uh, the uh, Venata Spiderling. Callisto Cub. I love the Callisto Cub. It's one of my favorites. Who wouldn't want a little bear? That's just... Uh, <laughs> it's so cool. I'm glad they added a bear. Uh, Scorpion right here. Got the Vedian Jr. Two versions of it, but our, our server only has one for the moment. KBD Pet. Prince Black Dragon. And then the Corp Pet. The Pet Dark Core. Which, in my opinion, looks super, super stupid. Right here, we just kind of have some random ones. So we have all the DK Pets. So fun fact about these, they were actually broken. Um, these two right here, the Rex... Uh, well, actually, they, all, all three of them were really weird, but they basically all looked exactly the same. They looked kind of like a weird version of Supreme and then a weird version of Rex. No one ever reported it because I don't know if anyone even has one of these pets. Or if they did have it, they never even noticed because they didn't care. I don't know. It was never reported. I noticed it myself uh, when I was testing pets, and um, I attempted to fix it, and it worked perfectly. So, yeah. Yeah. Those three are interesting. Uh, pet Snakeling. Zora Pet. Uh, we don't have the Mortal Metamorphosis option working just yet, but we're working on a Skatizo. Skatizo Pet. One of the better looking pets, in my opinion. I mean, come on now. That little black and purple demon. That's cool. And we got the, uh, the Baby Mole, which uh, looks adorable. And then, of course, the Calfire Princess, which, again, working on that Metamorphosis. I like the the bottom form. I know most people like the flying form, but I've always liked the bottom one. I that that sounds stupid. All right, so now we have the uh, two Jad pets, and then the God Wars ones. So here is the Jad, the original one, the boss, and then the Nibbler pet from the Inferno. We have with the God Wars, we got Armadillo, Siliana. Sutsarth, which is my favorite pet, if you guys know me. That's definitely my favorite pet, for sure. And then Bandos, which uh, is, is cool. Alright, so here's where it kind of gets interesting. So we have the original ceiling pets. Uh, we have the runecrafting one. Farming, which is a, is a nice one right there. Uh, Rock Golem, which again, metamorphosis, blah, 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 blah. Squirrel, a little Santa hat still, <laughs> even though it's not Christmas time. Heron. Uh, Raccoon, which is definitely one of my favorites. Love how fat he is. Phoenix, which is from Fire Making. And then the Beaver. Uh, so with the custom ones, which, uh, yes, we do. We have all custom. Uh, every single skill has a pet, except for one. 
And if you know which one it is, which I'm sure if you play the server, you know, because people are mad about it. Uh, there's only one skilling pet missing. And it's actually one that is an old school. It's Hunter. You, no, you don't even have to comment it. You don't even have to comment. I bet you people are still going to do that. The second I said that, they thought that they were entering a giveaway, and they, they put in their name. Moving on. <laughs> so uh, on here, the Chompy Chick is not... Uh, it's the Fletching Pet. It's a Fletching skill Pet. We have the sheep, which is the crafting. A little tortoise, which is uh, the herb lore. Dark beast pet, which of course is slayer. Burnt meat, the cooking troll. And then the spirit pet, which is for prayer. Watt, which is a pet I've only seen one person ever get. I've only seen one of these. This is the invention pet. Watt. And then last one is smithing. Ah, so these are the last pets. So, uh, Wyvern Pet probably should have been with the other bosses, but uh, here it is. Looks pretty cool, in my opinion. We have the Bloodhound Pet, which is in Clues. It is in all Clues, if you were wondering, not just Master. Just a little guy. We have the Baby Monkey, which is found in boxes. Mainly the Mystery Box. And then we have the uh, Gorilla Pet, which was recently added in the Unique Boxes. We have the event pets. We've done three big events so far. The player appreciation event, the Shaka Khan pet. The Halloween event with the Banshee. And then the uh, Christmas event with the Penguin. And as well as those events, we've done some charitable events. Uh, the first one being the La uh, Las Vegas, uh, the GoFundMe page that they set up for the victims. And the pet was the uh, state bird of Nevada, the Mountain Bluebird. And then on this new one, which we're actually releasing uh, either today or tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this, is uh, going to be the Stray Dog Pet, which is uh, going to be for a charity we're doing in uh, support for the homeless. So uh, this is a really cool pet in my opinion. I'm super stoked that it's in-game. And uh, I don't want to spoil any of the examine options, but most, most of the custom pets have interesting examine options. So if you have any of the custom pets, the ones we made, suggest. So... Looking back on it, we probably don't have as many pets as other servers. I'm sure crazy, you know, those crazy custom servers like Dreamscape probably have a million pets. But I like the fact that a lot of our pets look good and make sense. That's that's what I, I like. Because pets are kind of, the hardest part of any pet is the item. Because obviously there's a, a bunch of cool NPCs, but there's not always an item. So having a lot of continuity with these pets is really important. I mean, I think we do a good job with that. But thanks for watching.